Welcome to the 2024 East West Longitude exclusively at Camping World. Now I know you're thinking, Trish, what's the difference? Well, hey, hold your horses. Here you go. The 285BH is a family travel trailer and the 310RL is a couple's travel trailer. And let's get inside, shall we? And check out what's the difference. Welcome to the East West Longitude 285BH. Now y'all, I've seen some bunk houses. I have. This one though is exclusively to Camping World and for good reason. We have got, let's just start with the kitchen. Can you see the flow? I can't touch the other side. Let's start right there with how wide and spacious. We've got pressed countertops and undermount sink. You know I love a high faucet, honey. Great use of space. These cabinets go right up to the ceiling so you've got that profile microwave stove i love a gas range oven yes i see it and then right here we've got this great flow bunks yes storage yes back we'll get to that in a minute back entry for storage as well and you know we love power ports tablets phones you can put the kids over here they ain't gonna bother you your life's gonna be magical and then bam bathroom right here what do i love about this bathroom rear access to that bathroom i mean who doesn't love that so you're out on the lake you're out at the ocean nobody's bringing sandy feet up through your clean house they can go right outside and right into the bathroom i love everything about that great vanity love the whole layout and then look at the storage adjustable shelf so be it a pantry be it drawers for the clothes for the kids you've got great storage and then the fridge freezer right across the way so the flow to the kitchen family area is so amazing but what makes this 285 bh even better is the use of the dinette shall we the other thing this longitude 285 bh has that i particularly love is this ah, u-shaped dinette now i know you're thinking trish you just shook the table oh yeah i did you know why <gasps> Yes, that just happened. She spins around. So if you want to sit here, you can work. You've got someone back here. The TV's on, the game's on. It's a little extra room maybe if you've got snacks happening in the living area. So great. Storage underneath and this also is sleeping area. Love the windows as well. You've got these great windows so it's just so airy. Whether you're at the lake, you're at the beach, maybe in the mountains. This is one of those family travel trailers that just keeps on giving. Now, shall we step into the entertainment area so you can see the full flow of the match? I think we should. Come on. Oh, step into the living room, shall we? Okay. I am cozied up on this darling trifold sleeper sofa. Now, this will also sleep too. So you can have all the kiddos, everybody can be wallered up in here. Or you could get the theater seating option. How cool would that be? whichever you prefer but either way honey you've got this entertainment system right here i love a fireplace you've got that great speaker sound and the tv i mean everybody can just hang right here i love the flow we've got power ports and power over right off of the back of a kitchen island and it's just such a great use of space everything is right here yet it feels really open and let me tell you this is so comfy love the big windows picture the lake outside everybody's hanging out and living their best life but you want to leave everybody out here so y'all can go take to the bed as a country person we like taking to the bed shall we go behind this pocket door and see what's happening in the bedroom i think we should come on let's go y'all know i don't have a lick of sense over a pocket door come on in this primary bedroom let's go Welcome to the primary bedroom with a walk around queen bed, which I love. You've got overhead storage, great use of space. These deep wardrobes that flank either side of the bed, absolutely fabulous. And what I love that they're thinking through in 2024 and this longitude's got it, great deep nightstand. So you've got that gap in space and you've got the great little pockets in the back for CPAP, for books, whatever you might want to store back there. And your power ports and your USBs are right up front. I know you're thinking, wait, Trish, this is already such a great use of space. I mean, I'm fine with it. I don't have to worry about this. Well, we've got a built-in wardrobe with an adjustable shelf. So you've got that storage as well. And of course, more storage, bam, right here built in. This is also TV ready. So you could have a TV right here 
I mean, but who's watching TV when that's the view you get to wake up to? You could be at the lake, the mountains. How fantastic. I love the overhead push lights. So also everything is thought through in your primary bedroom. Now, after you've relaxed and gotten all cozy, you could get up and go outside. Why? Because as magical as the 285 BH is on the inside, honey, she's just as fun on the outside. Let's go. The Longitude 285 BH is just as fun on the outside. Honey, she's got a 21 foot awning, marine grade speakers, and we love a leash. You know I love a leash tie off. A little something for our furry friends. It's a 100 watt solar package, which we absolutely love, LP Connect, and backup camera prep. Now, you're thinking, Trish, well, what are we gonna do out here? Well, you're gonna set up, you're gonna have your rug out, your chairs, you're gonna have some beverages, cause you got a what? outdoor fridge for the family honey love that and remember you've got those outdoor stairs that lead right to the bathroom we love that separate entrance so everybody's not running through the whole house so great and on top of that we've also got an outdoor shower with hot and cold water you love it i know i do there's rear storage in the back pass through that goes under those bunks for bikes for kayaks we now love the Longitude 285 BH for families, but let's go check out the Longitude 310 RL for couples and see how they compare, shall we? Come on. So when we're talking longitudes, I think when it comes to comparing both, right? You're in the couples right now. What I love about the couples is this great use of space on the jackknife sofa. Wonderful, so you're getting all that extra seating. Where in the family travel trailer, you have an option for a two-seater kind of love seat sofa and a U-shaped dinette. Where here, you're getting a much simpler dining area and getting the big seating as well. So it really is family lifestyle. How are you living in it? When it comes to the kitchen, again, you get a lot more counter space in the couples than you have because you're sleeping a lot more in the bunkhouse. Again, great sink, great stove and range, great microwave. So all those things are wonderful and comparable, but when it comes to the 310 RL, this is a great flow and the windows make it feel more expansive. When you're in the 285 BH, again, great use of space, but this is where the bunkhouse would be. And so you've got to compensate for the fact that you've got more people that you're hauling around, which is fun and fun. So depending on lifestyle and flow, they've really thought out the details. So in this bathroom, I think the big difference is not only layout and flow, the pass through to the primary is huge. Look at this. I mean, just having that flow alone gives you so much space, but it's this great use of space in here, having this linen closet that you have to forego and all the storage and how big the shower is with the skylight because you gain in the family travel trailer, you gain that back door, which is so fantastic on a rig that sleeps up to nine to not have everybody coming through the whole house, a hot mess. When you've got kiddos, you're gonna want that. When it's a couple's travel trailer and it sleeps up to, up to four, basically just a couple, you love having this use of space, right? Toilet on the bias, the bigger shower, those double doors, such a great feature, and all that extra storage. So just depending on how your lifestyle flows, that's the big difference in the bathroom layout. Now let's check out the difference when it comes to the primary bedroom. Come on. Well, let's step in the primary bedroom, shall we? And talk the major differences between the Longitude bunkhouse and the Longitude couples trailer. So here we go. I love the couple's travel trailer for the reasons that it has so much wardrobe storage. You kind of forego that with a much smaller armoire in the family, but you do get on the family dual wardrobes on either side of the bed, which you only get one wardrobe in the couple's travel trailer. You also get a much larger nightstand on one side here in the couples where in the family, you only get two thinner ones, which is something to keep in mind. They both have great windows above the bed, which I love, and they both have great overhead storage, which is fantastic. It's really about how you do life and how many people you're accommodating when you're out on the road. So same queen bed, same great flow to the space. It's just a different use of storage and placement of TV. The TV on the couples is straight ahead and on the family travel trailer, it's off to the side. So really it just depends on how you're flowing. I think they made a great use of all space, but to be honest with you, I think this one just feels a little airier. But again, you only sleep in four on this bad boy and you can sleep up to nine on the family. So how you do it is completely up to you. 
Another great feature in the Longitudes are the luxury vinyl laminate used in both and they are mimicking what's happening in residential flooring right now in a gorgeous way. It's that wide plank wood floor look that is so on trend and I love that they've carried it over. So there you have it, the East-West Longitude, either in family travel trailer or a couple's travel trailer, the world's your oyster, honey, and you get to choose. The only difference on the exterior of both is you get an outside fridge on the family travel trailer. So how great is that? They really did think everything through. No matter how you're enjoying your outdoor lifestyle, we know the Longitude has one for you. So get into your local camping world today. Don't forget to tell them Trish sent you, and we can't wait to see you. Talk to you soon.